Hello and welcome to the introduction of DICOM modality worklist options offered by products of Image Information Systems. Let's learn how they work and where they can simplify your radiology workflow. A worklist routine without a digital worklist is cumbersome and time-consuming. The medical staff have to enter the patient name and requested examination details into the device manually, as an automatic transfer from a digital information system is not possible. This leads not only to typing errors and inconsistent patient data, but it's also a big time factor. With a DICOM modality worklist, many of these errors can be avoided. The patient data must still be entered manually into the information system, but it can be transferred directly into a digital worklist, which is then automatically transmitted to the device. This way, the patient and study data end up directly at the place of action, saving time and avoiding typing errors. What conclusions can we draw from this? A DICOM worklist is an indispensable part of daily practice in the digital age. It simplifies and significantly accelerates the workflow. Typing errors are minimized and thus consistent data can be guaranteed on all connected systems. Great, isn't it? How can this be realized? An order placer, like an information system, creates an order and sends it to a scheduler, which can be a device such as a sonography or x-ray unit. As soon as the device receives the order, it queries the work list and thus accepts the order. In this sense, IQView can work as a device and query a work list. The radiology processes, the software used, and the equipment in a medical facility are usually very different from one another. Accordingly, Image Information Systems offers a wide range of DICOM modality work list options. Whether you need a standalone product or an add-on module, Image's worklist options are flexible to meet your needs and requirements. Let's talk about IQ Worklist first. IQ Worklist can interface with virtually any radiology, practice or hospital information system, read scheduling data, and create DICOM worklists for imaging modalities. In addition, it can read HL7 order requests, patient update or merge messages like ADT, and also accept BDT or GDT or structured text files as a data source. What does that mean? IQ Worklist converts patient information into a DICOM compliant format and passes it on to the device. For this workflow, it is assumed that the information system is able to create a worklist order. What makes IQ Worklist so unique? To start with, it is independent of the information system's manufacturer, which means that it can be connected to any existing information system. Secondly, it supports commonly used formats like HL7 and GDT. Bob enters the patient data of our patient, John Smith, into his RIS. He then walks over to the device to enter the exam data into the work list. Bob misspells the name, John Doe. He can now either works with wrong data or runs back to look for the correct spelling. With IQ Worklist, Bob only needs to record the patient data in his RIS. Automatically, the entered data is sent to the device. This saves time and avoids annoying typing errors. Let me introduce you to IQ GDT2 Worklist. IQ GDT2 Worklist automatically reads patient data from practice management systems via individually configurable BDT or GDT files. It then prompts the user for the study data. By selecting the modality, device and body part individually, risk codes from any manufacturer can be added to a DICOM worklist in order to work on the device with the correct patient data. Most of the devices can process risk codes and thus enable an automated profile selection. Using risk codes accelerates the workflow and reduces the number of incorrect exposures or misreads. In addition, the patient data is generated in the form of a GDT export file, which can be entered back into the practice management system again. Bob enters the patient data into his EMR, which can supply a GDT file, containing patient data, but no study data. Using IQ GDT to worklist, he adds the missing data, by entering the modality and body region. 
A table of possible examinations appears on the right side. Bob selects a valid examination. GDT to Worklist automatically can send the completed dataset to the device. Similar to an information system, orders for a worklist can be created in IQWeb. IQWeb can serve here as order placer. However, the transmission of the order must be done by a software application like IQ Worklist. In IQWeb, it is possible to merge several worklists into one. This way, different hospital department can send orders to one device. Nevertheless, IQWeb is more than just a client for an information system. IQWeb is a complete, easy-to-use and affordable PACS solution for storing, distributing, viewing and sharing medical imaging studies and reports. So, if you don't have your own information system but still want to work with a worklist, you can use IQWeb to transfer orders to another DICOM modality worklist solution. Bob works in a practice that has no risks. However, the practice would like to work with a DICOM modality worklist. Bob's practice has IQ Web and IQ Worklist. Bob enters the patient data into the IQ Web worklist. Automatically, the data is transferred to the device via IQ Worklist. Similar to IQ Web, IQ RIS can be used to create orders in the role of the order placer. But here no other software must not handle the transmission of the worklist. What is IQRIS? IQRIS is a flexible radiology information system that can be easily customized to meet the needs of any hospital or imaging center. In addition to the creation of worklist orders, it also offers a user-friendly calendar, comprehensive scheduler, consistent electronic medical record system and an integrated workflow manager. Bob's practice has IQ risks. The practice has nothing to worry about. Bob can enter patient data directly into IQ risks and schedule the exam, he enters the relevant information such as the reading physician. Now he can prepare the examination, he selects the modality, body part and localization. Automatically, the study data is transferred to the worklist. IQRIS takes over the planning and creation of the order as well as the transfer of this data to the device. Like IQRIS, IQWebRIS can not only create orders, but also pass them on to the device. Thus, IQWebRIS functions as both order placer and worklist service. No further software is needed to ensure a complete transfer of the worklist information. What is IQWebRIS? IQWebRIS is a web-based radiology information system, which can be flexibly adapted to the individual needs of any radiology practice. It is designed for multi-site imaging centers and teleradiology installations with remote reading requirements. Bob's practice is working with IQWebRIS. Bob enters the patient and study data into IQWebRIS and schedules the examination by selecting the patient in IQWebRIS and creating an order. Here Bob can enter a lot of information. For example, who is the referring physician and who is the reading physician? Bob's patient needs two different examinations. Bob plans the first examination, which is a computer tomography scan of the lung. After that, Bob immediately plans the second examination being a computer tomography of the head. IQ Webris automatically sends the study data to the worklist and onto the device. This saves a lot of time and prevents typing errors. IQ Worklist Scheduler is a web-based graphical front-end for IQ Worklist to schedule procedures in a DICOM environment. This application allows for entering patient demographics and procedure information. It will also send this data to IQ Worklist from where connected imaging modalities can query the information. Once installed on the server, you can access IQ Worklist Scheduler from any internal device with a modern browser without requiring any additional software. 
This tool is especially helpful for medical institutions that do not have a hospital information system. Bob works in a practice where the risk cannot export data. Therefore, Bob uses the IQ Worklist Scheduler. He enters the study data there. The patient name and ID, as well as the modality and the study description are mandatory fields and must be filled in. Then the study data is sent to the device via the IQ Worklist. This way, practices without any RIS or IQ Web can also use the DICOM Modality Worklist. Let's summarize what we have learned so far. For a DICOM modality worklist, you need an order placer, a worklist server, and a device that acts as a receiver. The order placer creates an order for the worklist and passes it to the worklist server. There, a worklist is created for the different devices. The device queries the worklist and triggers the order at the same time. Which products can do the job of the order placer? IQ Worklist Scheduler is a web-based interface as a supplement to IQ Worklist. IQ Web IQ Web RIS as a complete web-based information system. IQ RIS as a complete patient information system. What about our Worklist Server tools? IQ Worklist is a Worklist server that can be connected to all conventional patient information systems. But IQ Web RIS can also function as a worklist server. IQ RIS. Now, a few points about the receiver. Each receiver or device, like any DICOM modality, must be able to trigger a worklist query. This can also be done by IQ View. And last but not least, anyone who works with GDT data can add without problems IQ GDT2 worklist for an exact order allowing the complete patient information to arrive at the equipment. As you can see, we offer a solution for many different workflow scenarios. But which solution is the right one for you? Option 1, you already have a RIS or any practice management system that is able to export data and you have a DICOM modality capable of querying a worklist. In this case, you only need IQ worklist to be able to work with a worklist. Option 2, you live in a German-speaking country and work with an EMR or PMS that generates GD files. Your DICOM modality can do a worklist query. In this case, you can use IQ GDT2 worklist to adjust the GDT files before transferring them to the worklist or simply use IQ worklist to create a worklist without previous adjustments. Option 3, you want to combine several worklists into one worklist? No problem with IQ Web. Option 4, you are looking for a customizable RIS and you already have some modalities. You have two options, our thin client solution IQ RIS or our zero footprint client IQ Web RIS. Option 5, your RIS can export data and therefore trigger a worklist order, but you still want to work with a separate worklist? Then the IQ Worklist Scheduler is your solution of choice. Additionally, IQ Worklist is needed to transfer the worklist to the device. This concludes the introduction of our DICOM Modality Worklist products. Thank you for listening. If you have any further questions, please contact one of our factory trained sales and service partners.